Hello musicians, my name is Andrew Mercer, and I'm coming from you to you to, from my father's workshop here at the Old Violin Shop. Uh, and I'm going to do a little short tutorial on how to stay in the middle of the bow. How to get better control of where you are in the bow. So stay tuned. <laughs> Sometimes I see violin players uh, who uh, who play quite a few songs and uh, you can play quite well, uh, but they don't have a lot of control over where they are in the bow. Sometimes a, a lot of players will, will stick to the tip of the bow and they'll be playing all their songs in here at the tip of the bow, you know. And it, it it's hard to get a lot of good volume down here. It's hard to get a lot of pressure into the strings. So there's disadvantages with sticking down at the tip of the bow, and there's disadvantages with sticking anywhere in the bow. I mean, we have a bow that's this long. I mean, you really, you should use every inch of that bow. So please, learn to use the bow. Now, sometimes when you're playing the violin, it's hard to see where you are. Because the violin, the bow is so close to your eyes, it's hard to kind of see, well, where am I in this thing? I don't know. I can't. I keep forgetting. So it's good to put a little reference point on your bow to help you keep track of where you are. Now, this is what I do. And, and I, you know, I've been playing for quite a while, and I still do this myself from time to time. If I'm thinking, okay, this section of the music, I need to be able to make sure I stay in the middle of the bow, I'll take... A piece of tape. This is stuff I got at Canadian Tire for putting on your car. It's, it's pinstripe tape. Okay, so you use it for doing pinstriping on cars and stuff. And what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of it in the middle of the bow. And you know what? You can get it the same color as the bow. If you don't want people to see it, I don't care myself. Uh, you know, but if you want to get it the same color, you can do that. Put it in the middle of the bow, and that way when you're going, when your bow is passing back and forth in front of your eyes, five or six inches in front of your face, you can still see where the bow is, where you are, are you near the tip? If you're not seeing that, oh, there it is there, you know, you can go back. So it's it's a good little reminder to show you where you are in the bow, okay? So that center point, good good idea. I, I, and like I said, I do that from time to time anyway because we can all use a refresher, no doubt about it. Okay, if you like this video, give us a good thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to keep track of new videos that are coming. And if you got any questions or requests for any new tutorials, put them in the discussion forum down the bottom. Or if you have heated debate, maybe you don't agree with what we're talking about here. Maybe you just don't agree. Hey, let's hear it. Draw, put it down in the discussion, discussion link. Let's start a heated debate. Okay, guys, good luck with your music, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.